city of Pompeii in the shadow of Mount Vesuvius. Almost 2,000 years ago, that huge volcano erupted. The eruption was so powerful that the sea village of Pompeii was buried in volcanic ash. Sounds like the last time I asked the chief for a raid. Anyway, it rained down at a rate of six inches an hour, burying the city under 20 feet of ash. It happened so fast that the city, people and all, were sealed in time. But where is the city of Pompeii, besides under 20 feet of ash? Go, go, gadget map! Italy is the boot-shaped country in southern Europe. Pompeii is in the southwestern part of Italy, near the city of Naples. Right there, around the angle. Wow! Pompeii is a slice of Italian life the way it was 2,000 years ago. Welcome to Main Street Pompeii. You can still see the old toga shops where they sold old togas. Of course, they were new at the time. Here we have the old Pompeii Bakery. Talk about making bread from scratch. First, they used these stones to grind the grain into flour. It was mixed in these very mixing bowls and baked in this very oven. When Vesuvius turned up the heat that fateful day, these loaves of bread got quite a baking. When scientists finally brushed away all the ash 2,000 years later, they found perfectly preserved loaves of bread. I've heard of day-old bread, but this is ridiculous. Archaeologists uncover buried treasures left behind by past civilizations and try to piece together how they live. That means they look in old places for older stuff. Archaeologists are sort of like historical detectives. Hmm, maybe I could help them out. Actually, a well digger discovered Pompeii 250 years ago when he was digging a well. He told an archaeologist, and the rest is scientific history. When Vesuvius blew its top in 79 AD, some of the people of Pompeii fled the city trying to outrun the volcano. I bet the land speed record was held by fleeing Pompeians for a couple of centuries. Others stayed behind, hiding in their homes, hoping it would blow over. The people who ran were overcome by noxious gas and buried in huge piles of ash. 
the poor citizens were caught in whatever position they were in. About a century and a half later, archaeologists found shells of ash that had once surrounded the bodies. They filled the shells with plaster. When the plaster hardened and the ash was removed, what remained were perfect statues of the citizens of Pompeii, doing exactly what they were doing when the volcano erupted. But they never thought they'd have to do it for so long. Here I am at the foot of Mount Vesuvius. I couldn't find its hand. This is the only active volcano in all of continental Europe, which is okay with the rest of the continental Europeans. It's really a hot spot. What is a volcano? This calls for a top secret gadget investigation without getting too close. A volcano is just like the exhaust pipe on a car, except a volcano is an exhaust pipe for the planet Earth. The center of the Earth is very hot. You probably need to wear sunblock SPF 9 million. Every so often, the old Earth has to blow off a little steam and rocks and gases. What comes out is hot rock from the Earth's core. How hot is it? It's so hot, it's actually melted. Lava is a fancy name for melted rocks because by the time you say, look out for those falling, melting rocks from the Earth's core, it's too late. An inactive volcano is just a mountain that is plugged up and can't erupt anymore. It's no longer a threat because there's no more pressure there. This volcano hasn't erupted for over 50 years. That makes scientists nervous. Mount Vesuvius just might be overdue for another blow just like I'm overdue for another vacation. Volumes, an Inspector Gadget field trip fact. When Mount Vesuvius erupted in 79 AD, scientists estimate that it shot a huge black comet of gas, ash, and rock 12 miles into the air at over 50 miles an hour, which cut way back on the tourist trade for a couple thousand years. Around the time Mount Vesuvius erupted, Pompeii was a thriving Roman sea town. Though the Romans weren't big on surfing. These are the Stabian Baths for all the bathing Stabians. This was probably one of the social centers of Pompeii. People gathered to bathe in the lush pools, exercise outside in the vast courtyards, or relax in one of the ancient saunas. That was before the eruption. Afterwards, things got a little quieter. These ornate dressing rooms are very well preserved, probably because they were protected under piles of ash. They could use a good dusting, though. Must be the maid's millennium off. Just a meatball's toss from Pompeii is the modern Italian city of Ercolano. And inside this city is something you don't see every day. Unless, of course, you live there. It's an ancient city hidden underneath the modern city. Herculaneum was a small fishing village also used by the people of nearby Naples as a resort town. Until Mount Vesuvius did its thing, after that, it wasn't much of a resort anymore. In fact, this village was destroyed seven hours earlier than Pompeii because it was closer to Vesuvius. But this city wasn't buried in ash, it was buried in hot lava. The volcano sealed this town's fate with a 60-foot crust of mud and lava that hardened into solid rock. But it made great insulation in the winter. Later, the city of Ercolano was built over it. Thus you have the secret to the mystery of a city within a city. This is where the people of Herculaneum docked their boats. That was before the eruption. 
The ocean ran right up to the building, but when the volcano erupted, the lava hardened, pushing the city limits outward and filling in a lot of the old harbor. Now the ocean is all the way over this hill. Wowzer, a volcano can even shove oceans around. Now that's pushing. How do you know when a volcano is going to blow? It usually starts with an earthquake. Not the safest early warning system in the world. Let's make like Vesuvius and blow. We've been trotting the treacherous paths of Pompeii, unearthing the secret city of Herculaneum, suspecting seismic activity, facing the terror of Europe's last active volcano, and loving it. Until next time, remember, you can't fish in a river of love. Go, go, gadget field trip. <laughs>